Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the all new, brand new, like just dropped simulator that just came out, and it is so sick. If you are a new FPV pilot and you have not yet learned how to fly FPV drones in Acro, or maybe you're an experienced pilot and you want to tackle that bucket list like diving and chasing and doing some wild crazy things, you are not going to want to miss this. Let's go! Uh, 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 uh. Alright pilot, so yes I am excited, this is super awesome, as an experienced pilot, I get to do some of the things that I may never be able to do. And if you are a beginner pilot who has not yet learned how to fly FPV, this is your chance. This is incredible. So this is a new simulator. It's called Trip FPV. And the things you can do are just out of this world. They went ahead and stated right on the website, right before you purchase the game, if you are going to be very critical of the fact that it's a newer game, there's only about three maps on here at this time, they are saying do not download it do not purchase it right now because we don't want you to be upset we don't want to ruin the excitement so if you're one of those guys hold out I'm not I want to see I want to know I want to try what's this hype about and I dived in and I'm gonna say I am very very impressed uh, this game has been created by undead battery they are the publisher they are the developer and uh, you can use uh, joysticks radios remotes this is my beta FPV little remote I simply power it on plug it in select joystick it walks you through the setup so if you are not sure how to do that it literally walks you through it and then once you're in you can literally race you can fly line of sight you can do do whatever ever you want you can freestyle and when we're talking about freestyle we're talking about tackling that bucket list listen to this you can dive mountains I mean that is sick you can dive right off the edges you can chase cars you can chase doom buggy sky gliders you can Maddie flip a hot air balloon what you can fly with eagles you can chase motocross bikes you can dive with the skydivers come on pilots you can dive the pyramids space jumpers you can race your quad against other quads you can even fly a cinelifter this is incredible. So if you are an experienced pilot and there are things you want to do or you want to try and you have not yet got to do it, I don't know that I'll ever get to dive with skydivers with an FPV drone. Maybe I will, but maybe I won't. And this is my chance to tackle that on my bucket list. And how cool is that? Now, for my beginners, you can literally jump in. It will teach you how to hover. It will teach you how to roll, how to flip, how to control your quad, how to fly through things. And you don't have to damage hundreds and hundreds of dollars of FPV gear to do it. And I'm not saying that other simulators don't do that. But this one really tops the charts for me. As a experienced pilot, I was still able to jump in. I used my sticks and I did my deal and I had a great time. It was super awesome. It walked me through everything and I had zero complications. It even takes the time to explain to you a little bit about camera angle and lets you pick one that works for you. Uh, flying and changing your camera angle can affect your quad and the way that it handles greatly. So it's very important to learn what feels good to you and also to learn and understand how all this works. And that is so cool that they've incorporated that into this game. I absolutely love it. So for a minimum required for your PC, you do need Windows 7. You need a 64-bit processor and operating system. It's really not that bad. You need 3 gigabytes of RAM. Come on, my phone has more than that. That's nothing. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need a crazy good computer. Now, if you have one, will it run better? Will you get better graphics? Sure, sure you will. The game was literally just released at the end of June on June 30th, so it is brand, brand new. 
Uh, you can use multiple different controllers. You don't have to have a certain remote. If you have the DJI radio, use it. If you have uh, one of these laying around, use it. This is my Beta FPV. I plugged it in, zero problems, straight to the sky. I absolutely love it. If you go down, you press a hot key, it flips you back over. If you want to change your camera view, you can do it all. You can customize your rates, your expo, all of that kind of stuff is fully customizable on your quadcopter. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. If you do know what it is or you want to learn what it is, this is the perfect, perfect, perfect way to dive in and learn more about FPV, how to use it, uh, how to fly, how to do all these types of things, and you can tackle some of those things on your bucket list. This simulator was created using Unreal Engine 5, and that's absolutely incredible because it is a software, it is a gaming engine that allows a very few amount of developers to be able to get a lot done quickly. If you haven't heard of this, you've no, you don't know what this is, you can jump online and check it out. Go ahead and look up the Matrix Awakens or the Matrix Demo and how cool that they can keep up with this and get this stuff done. So don't worry about the future as Unreal Engine 5 and the developers of Trip FPV are going to be able to really push the bar with crafting geometry, lighting, animation. All right, pause. To download Trip FPV, all you have to do is type in Steam Powered dot com get on their website and from here you just simply search for it so let's go ahead and jump into search we'll type in trip pops right up oh it was eleven dollars it is now thirteen ninety nine so people are buying and they're knowing it and the price is going up do not miss out you better jump on this while you can all you need to literally do is throw it in your cart check out you do need to download the steam platform because that's what the the simulator runs on download that pull it open jump on trip and just have a trip you can chase motocrossers you can do whatever you want you can chase drift cars look at this Oh my god, this is sick. You can do whatever you want. And yes, you're flying in acro mode. You are just doing your thing. It is compatible with Apple and Windows. So if you are a Mac guy, don't stress. You can still play. So here's how the game powers up. <laughs> how cool is this? I'm going to simply grab my radio, power it up. Just like that, I'm running Edge TX on this guy. I plug it in, it's gonna ask me, USB joystick, USB storage, USB serial, but that's for debug, don't touch that. And I'm gonna go ahead and select joystick. That's it, you heard a little beep, that means we're live, that means it's recognized it, and then the very first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna have you set up your radio controller. For me, seamless, simple there was some issues my pitch was going down when i went up it was going up when i went down all i had to do was click the invert button and it flipped it around for me <laughs> couldn't be more impressed really really couldn't all right let's jump in to the quarrel valley i want you guys to check this out because it's just it's just mind-blowing it really is here's some game tips Personally, I have decided not to check the box that says don't show again right here because I may need to have this information brought to me again. It's not a big deal to click got it. So I've decided to leave that stuff. But those are your hotkeys. So I'm going to hit got it and then let's jump into the Coral Valley charging light bulbs. All right, grab your remote. Let's see how mine does. I am a pincher. So I'm going to grab my radio and pinch. Here we go. Oh, wow. That feels... Oh, my God. It feels just like a quad. Oh, snizzy. Pilots, get out. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. This is nuts. Come on. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Other simulators can do this. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm just saying that this one, oh, 
has some graphics that the others don't necessarily have. Right? Can I dive this? Please tell me I can dive this. Oh my gosh, am I about to dive this? <gasps> All right, so I'm upside down, right? Let me show you. I'm going to just simply press R to respawn in the original place, or I can press T. Or it can flip me over by itself, whatever, but let's try T. Boom. So I am respawning exactly where I'm at, but I'm kind of stuck. See my throttle down at the bottom? You can actually see your sticks. Uh, let me point something else out to you. This is quite incredible. Right here in the top left, you can literally hit the H key to start and stop recording. Uh, that's pretty wicked that it's built in. Yes, all of us or any of us that do any type of gaming, uh, you do have these types of things to be able to record your screen, whether you're streaming or recording or making a video, whatever you're doing. But how cool that for the guys that don't do that or don't have those programs can simply press H and have a cool recording of whatever they just pulled off inside of the sim. Huh? Huh? I'm digging it. All right, let's press R and respawn back to our original place. Pilots, I'm having a blast with this. I could fly this all day because it's like really flying. It really is. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Woo! Pilots, I can fly. I can get juicy. I can do what I would normally do with a quad. Guys, let me know. Give me some feedback. If you guys want to see some more on it, you want to learn how to set it up, which it's truly very simple. But if you're interested in that, let me know. I hope that you guys found this to be as cool and as exciting as I did. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one.